Hi, my name is Natasha Tarpley and I'm the author of The Harlem Charade and I am so happy and honored that my book has been included on the Texas Blue Bonnet Master List this year and I've been asked to answer a few questions for you about myself and the writing of the book so here goes. Um, the first question is when when you were a kid were you like any of the characters in the Harlem Charade? And for me the answer to that is yes. Um, the Harlem Charade has three main protagonists. They're seventh graders then their names are Elvin, Jen, and Alex. Um, Jen is a pretty shy kid and she's a kid who likes to observe the world more than she actually participates. So Jen is kind of observant. Um, Alex on the other hand is very outspoken. She comes from a wealthy family but she really has strong beliefs about justice and about doing good in her community. And Elvin is kind of somewhere in the middle. He's a kid who is from California, but sort of gets plopped into New York City when he, um, when his mom gets sick and he moves there to live with his grandfather. So he doesn't know anybody and he's just trying to figure things out. And I relate to all of these characters um, in so many ways. When I was a kid, I was also very shy like Jen. I spent a lot of time reading and writing. I'm also a person who really um, has strong feelings about justice and fairness and about uh, things we can do to improve our community and our world. So Alex definitely is someone that I relate to in that regard. And Elvin as well. When I was uh, younger, my family moved around a lot. And so I was often the new kid in the places where I ended up. So the second question is, why did you choose to write a story set in Harlem? Well, I lived in New York City for several years and I lived in Harlem in particular. And uh, it's a very interesting neighborhood, very exciting neighborhood. And while, while I was there, the neighborhood began to change. And I wanted to write a story that was about what happened when communities start to change. And in Harlem in particular, there's so much history that's related to things like the Harlem Renaissance, as well as jazz and other arts and cultural um, movements uh, related to African American history in particular, that I wanted to um, write a story that talked about uh, that history and also how kids could get involved in questioning what was going on in their neighborhood and how they wanted to shape it for the future. And um, the question is, you know, how can you, as a, as a kid, as someone who lives in a community, be involved in not only shaping that community's future, but also learning about its past? And I hope that you'll do that in the places where you live. Um, the third question is, if you could be any character in the Harlem Charade, who would you pick and why? That's a tough one. Um, I really liked Verda Mae Sneed. She's the uh, old uh, grumpy lady who is the curator of the Studio Museum in Harlem, which appears in the book and is actually a real place that if you're ever in New York City, you can go and visit. Um, Berta May has a lot of history, a lot of information, and she's experienced a lot of things that have made her kind of feel a little bit sour, a little bit bitter about the world. And we all have experiences like that, but there's a part of her that's very hopeful that also wants to preserve um, that history and uh, make a difference in the future. So I really do relate to her. Um, the next question is, what is the hardest part about writing a mystery story? Uh, this was my first mystery, and for me the hardest part is um, the plot and making sure that all of the pieces of the plot fit together and um, come together at the end. 
You also have to be very aware of your timing and your pacing in a mystery. You want to make sure that your readers get just enough information that keeps them reading, but you don't want to give anything away too soon or too late. The last question is, what advice would you give to young authors as they learn to improve their skills? And I get asked this question a lot. And um, the advice I have is actually very simple, and that is to practice your craft. As writers, you know, I think people have an impression of us as, you know, people who just kind of sit down and something comes out and it's perfect. And really, that's not how it goes at all. Even if you've just written something for school, you know that oftentimes what you write is not going to be perfect. It's not going to be the thing that was in your head. You have to refine what you write. And so um, all of that comes with practicing your craft. And also reading helps a lot. Um, when you read, you learn not only how other authors write and, and construct their stories and characters, but you also get information. So reading is, is a very important part of writing as well. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, again, thank you. I'm so honored to be on this list and I hope you enjoy reading the Harlem Charade. Thank you.